So Jay asked me to hold it because, you know, the cop's been on his top real heavy lately. You know what I'm saying? So, like, I'm just looking out for him. That's all. I'm just handling business. First of all, why are you even talking like that? What do you mean? Talking like what? You know what I'm talking about. Look, I don't know much about that lifestyle, but I do know better. Just like you. I don't want it to take you. I'm not going away, Rissy. You hear me? I'm telling you the truth, all right? It's not mine. I'm holding it for Jay, and that's that. I'm not getting into that stuff, and I told you that. All right? Can I have a kiss? Let somebody take me away from you, huh? As a matter of fact, I got a better one. How we gonna have those beautiful babies we talk about? If I just let somebody take me away? Hmm? I don't know. But I know one thing. I ain't gonna be nobody's baby mama, bruh. <laughs> yeah, all on my phone talking about, where you at? The girls need milk and pampers. First of all, I don't even talk like that. <laughs> Yo, but baby moms do, though. Mm. For real. So you think you can handle two girls? You know they're going to need a lot more than money can buy? Well, that's why I got you. All right? You're going to show me how to be there for my girls. Mm. Yeah. Right? I guess. Yeah. But, ooh, if we have a girl... Girls. Plural. Really? Mm -hmm. Rissy. Rissy, I need you to I need you to know how much I love you. I'm so serious right now. I never felt like this before all my life. Because of that, I'm gonna be everything that you need and everything that you want. Whatever you want, it don't matter. I'm gonna make sure you have it. You mean so much to me, Rissy. I ain't gonna never let nobody hurt you. Ever. You hear me? I love you too, T. Forever and back, no matter what.
thinking about your sexy self all night and I wanted you all to myself. Mm. Mm. Mm -mm. You always love taking advantage of me. Come on, little babe. I ain't no freaky stuff in my outfit, though. Plus, we playing this game, yo. Where'd it go? Yo. Babe, wait. Come here for a second. What? We trying to play this game, dude. We already put money on it and everything. Let you go taking advantage of my love again. What's up, babe? You know I'm going to be four months next week, right? Damn, that was fast. Mm-hmm, and it's only going to get faster. I mean, we running out of time. We got to find a place so our family could be comfortable. A house, babe. A house now? No, we can't, we can't get that, not yet. What? Why not? Aren't you tired of bouncing around, sleeping from place to place? Don't you want to come home to me and the baby? Yeah, I do. Don't you want to walk in and smell some pollo rice and beans mm. and see me in my tight red lace well, pants? You know I want that. Then why can't you get us a house, babe? It's not that simple. What? All this money I see you making and you gonna tell me it's not chill, that simple? Chill, chill, Hey, Just gotta be patient. Why not? Why is not that simple? And what you mean, chill? Are you not excited about the baby? Yeah, of course I'm excited. Then what is it? Are you messing around on me? You got some chick all up in your head or something? Do it look like I care about some thought? Then what would make you say no to getting a home for your first child? Yo no puedo dejarlo en mano mío solo. What? It's my little brothers. I can't just leave them. If I leave, they coming with me. Oh, wait a second, baby. Now, you know I love your brothers just as much as you do. But the boys are older now to watch out for themselves. I mean, it's not like we moving across the country or something. What's wrong with them staying at your aunt crib and you just going to go check in on no, them? Oh, no. They coming with me and that's it. So you seriously going to choose your brothers over your family? Over me? What you mean? That's my family too forever. I know that, but what about Lil Toast? Your child, not a brother. I see you don't want to hear it right now. Whatever you want, babe, I'm, I'm riding with you. What's this? You see that? That's me. You know who that is? <laughs> oh, wow, is that Carlito? Yeah. And that's Jose right there? Yeah, but this, that's my older brother and sister. My older brother, he always made sure we ate. And he gave us everything we needed, too. My older sister, she always took care of everything else. Whenever me and my brothers needed something, they always had us. When they found my brother in the car, the car was still running. He had beef with some bull up the block. He was making bread. He always had the best dope. But he got greedy. He sold a couple of keys to some people he ain't know. But then when he was counting the bread, they shot him twice in the back of the head. And ever since then, it's just been me and my brothers. And I told them, I promised them that I'm never going to leave them. What about your sister, B? I ain't trying to get into that right now. What? Now why would you say that? Because that's how I feel, Mark. Here we go again, man, with the dramatics. It's dramatic. Yeah, right on time, yo, I swear. You know damn well I can show you dramatic. And even if I am being dramatic, don't you think I have every right to be? Uh, I guess so. Yo, that's your last yo for tonight. I don't know what I did to you. hate me so much, Mark. What are you talking about? You hate me. Why else would you rather be out here in these streets instead of home with your family? <sighs> you must be effing somebody else. What? What's her name? Yo, it's crazy. Yeah, your ass is guilty. What, you in love? Oh, you better not be out here embarrassing me, making me look like a fool. Going undercover and falling in love with some random ass chick. Is that what's happening? If you already know, then what you asking me for?
Hey. Oh, hey. What's good? How's your day? Uh, nothing special. It's the usual stuff. So, uh, hey, who's who's that, that guy that was walking out? Like he had an attitude. Who, the one with the striped shirt on? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's Terrence. Oh, right. Um, how you, how you know him? He's my boss. He owns a non-profit. Why? Uh, <laughs> I just can't help but notice the way he's looking at my girl, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> Are you serious? Terrence ain't worried about me. It's not even like that. Well, how would you know that? What? Boy, what you mean? I ain't your boy. You know exactly what I'm saying. <laughs> no, I don't know what you're saying. What'd you tell me? Oh my gosh, <laughs> Tell you what? Why are you so adamant about knowing who he is? Matter of fact, is there something you want to tell me? What? No. I don't know, boy. Hmm. See? You might as well spill the beans right now. You realize you are so bad at lying. That's why I'm never playing space with you. Oh, shit. My space getting crazy. What you talking about? Oh, my God. Why are you playing with me right now? Let me see. Let me see your hand right there. What? I'm going to staple yeah, your you, hand you, if you don't to? tell me. Tell me. All right. Chill. Relax. All right. He used to save somebody I knew. What? Who? What difference does it make? You got to know everybody I know? Oh, my. Okay, Sebastian. That's fine. Listen, Jazz, that's, that's not what I meant to say. That is! That's exactly what you meant! That's not what I meant, Jazz. Calm Can down, I believe I fell for your shit here. again? Don't touch me! This is exactly why I didn't want to have sex with your ass in the first place. Hey, come here. Stop calling me baby and stop trying to no, touch listen, me. What's wrong with you? I'm Get off! You. All this hollering and screaming right now is not good for our child. That's not what I meant. What I meant to say was, why can't you just love me? So what now? What do you mean? What's the plan? The plan for what? For our child, Mark. You want me to be honest? Of course. I don't have the answer to that for right now. But for right now, this is what it's going to be. So I'm gonna be at home with the kids while you out in the streets risking your life. And for what? I'm so sick of this. Do you want me to have this job? Of course I do. Why would you ask me that? You used to be happy. Do you remember what you told me when I first had Leela? Yes, I do. You said you were so thankful and proud of me for pushing out our little girl. Now I'm on my second child with you and you act like it's a damn disease. And, I, and I'm still that same man that loves his family. You must have me confused with that side that you with. What? Yeah, yeah, I'm out. I gotta go. Hey, queen. Hey, sexy. Can I be honest with you right quick? Always. I'm really happy to be here. Like, nah, you... It's like we got a vibe every time we get together, Sash. And it's only getting stronger. Really? 
yes, really. In a minute, it's going to be hard to get rid of me. I'm <laughs> just saying. Is that so? That's so. In a minute, I want to be with you all forever and stuff. Mm, well, you know what? You might be right. Let me just go ahead and get out of here so you won't keep stalking me. Psych. Mm -hmm. I'm playing. I'm happy mm -hmm. with you too, Malcolm. So, how was your day? Oh, man. It's been long, but productive, though. Got a little back pain from trying to dunk on you yesterday, mm. you know? Mm. Well, maybe you should have listened when I told you I had some skills then. Wow. Yeah, we'll see. We'll how are you guys doing? My name is Naya. I'll be a servant for tonight. Can I start you off with something to drink? Um, we'll start with some spinach artichoke dip, and I'll have a strawberry lemonade. Thank you. Two mimosas. Thanks. So, what's on your bucket list? Um, my bucket list? Yeah, I know that's random, but I want to know about how you view the world. Mm, I don't know. I don't think I ever thought about it. That's why I'm here. Um, I don't know. I guess I want to go skydiving and travel. I want to see Africa first. Wait, wait, wait. Skydiving? Yeah. Nah, you scared. Well, I am not. Right. I'm messing with you. You shouldn't be scared. It's kind of dope. I might do it with you. Whatever. You probably scared. So? So you would still do it? Even if you're scared? Doing it right now. What you mean? I mean... No, I'm here with you. Man. Here your drinks and your appetizers will be out soon. Oh, by the way, I couldn't help but to hear you, you been having some back pain, huh? So I thought I'd share with you that I have the perfect remedy for it. First of all, ma'am, you did not even bring me my right drink. Don't be offering him no remedies. He don't need your remedies. Can you go get our food, please? Thank you, waitress. Wow, that's crazy, yo. <laughs> so you just gonna flirt with her right in front of my face? What? What are you talking about? She tried to holler at me. You must have gave her a reason. Tosh, where is this coming from? Malcolm, it's coming from you flirting with this girl right in front of my face. I didn't do anything to make her flirt with me. This is crazy. Oh, so now I'm crazy? You calling me crazy? Nah, it's time to go. Tosh. You look like you could use some help. Whoa, whoa, okay. I'm just gonna assume you have a permit for that, so I don't have to take you in. Are you crazy? You must be out of your goddamn mind walking up on me like that. What do you want? I don't have any more information to tell you. Yeah, well, I need more. Well, what do you want me to do? On top of everything else, more and more bodies are popping up. I know Gene and Tyron had something to do with it. Don't let this get to the point that I can't protect you, Carla. First of all, let me explain something to you. If you ever put your hands on me like that again, your face is going to be the first thing that collapses. You get that? You're absolutely right. I'm sorry. I'm just trying to help you. You know that. I already told you, you can't help me. I, I can if you work with me on this. Look, I know you're tracing those bodies back to the wrong team. It's Jean's goons, not T. How are you so sure of that? How do I know that you're not just trying to take the attention off of T? You don't know, which is probably best, right? But the bigger problem is, Jean isn't sharing details with me or speaking to me that much at all about anything. Why would Gene all of a sudden not be open with you? What does he know? Does he know about us? You have been talking to me? Carla. I don't know. Look, he's done enough damage to you. But his reign over everything is coming to an end very soon. Warn your boy that the he is on him for these bodies. 
Tell him and his crew to lay low for a while. Hey, what time are you coming over here? Around 10.30, 11 o'clock. And you better be ready, Assistant District Attorney. <laughs> With everything that you're doing for me, I'm going to take good care of you tonight. Remember where we are. Anybody be watching. Right. You're not going to have to worry about Gene much longer. I'm going to make sure of that. That black-headed boy will never be good enough for my baby girl, and I'm sure he knows what? it too. Why you gotta call him all that though? What blockhead? Yeah. Well, because he is. It's probably his daddy's fault. <laughs> <laughs> you are crazy. Oh uh, man. I like him though, Dad. <laughs> Why is that? Cause he's cool, and I'm comfortable with him. All right, well, you're grown, so the best advice I could give you is just make sure you draw the line somewhere, okay? I mean, it's all fun now, but eventually it won't be. You'll see who he really is. Oh, and the other advice I have, whatever you do, please, 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 don't bring no blockheaded babies to what? my home. What? I'm serious. I'm, I don't bring no blockheaded babies to my home. I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> Oh, Seriously man. though, Dad, why did you call me to come here today? Like, I've been getting some really weird vibes from you lately, and I don't like it. Really? Like, what are the vibes like? Weird. Like, I know you got something to tell me, so just spit it out already. Well, for one, I do have something that I want to tell you, but I wanted us to spend some time together before we got into it. Is that okay? Um, first of all, you're scaring me. And no, that's not okay. I, I gotta go soon, so can you just tell me already? Are you in a rush, Amaya? Huh? Or did you set aside time today like I asked right, you to? All right, okay. You have my undivided attention. I'm sorry. All right, thank you. Hello? Yes, this is her. Oh no, it's fine. It's a good time. After Skowarski. supposed to find out. <laughs> baby, baby, just, just a moment. <laughs> Amaya, I could have told you that you weren't going to be a match. How could you be so sure without a test? <laughs> Dead! <laughs> Look, I'm sorry to tell you this, but I'm not your father, baby. Well, I'm not your biological what? father. What are you what are you telling me right now? Dad, answer me! What are you saying? No. Your mother had an affair, okay? <laughs> and um we got into a fight one night. And I put pressure on her because I was just so sure. But she denied it and denied it and denied it until she broke down and finally told me that my six month old baby wasn't mine. 
So I pleaded with the Lord and begged the Lord to give me strength that night. But I did what anybody else would have done. I left, okay? I left. But I came back a few nights later and I went into your room because I wanted to give you one last kiss goodbye. But I couldn't. I couldn't leave you, okay? I couldn't leave you. So I stayed and I raised my queen. And at that time, you were the only thing that mattered to me in the world. I'm hiding. And even the evil from that constant that situation, it didn't change anything. And at that point in my mind, I, I became a man. Why are you just telling me this now? Because I wanted you to know. I felt like you should know before something happened to me and I leave this earth. I felt like you deserved to know. You are... You gotta be kidding me. All my life, everything was a lie. All this time, I knew I was missing something, but I thought it was my mom. It's my mom and my dad. Oh my... Amaya, wait. 